Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new release from Victor and Roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, you've not activated night vision goggles. Activate Fragmental night vision goggles. That's better. Now, if you clicked the clickbaity thumbnail and you came here expecting a review of Spice Bomb night vision, well, you came to the right place. If you want to hear my thoughts on this one, stay tuned to FM. Before we go any further, I've got to get rid of this annoying rattly pin. That's better. This fragrance is brand new, so brand new in fact that Victor and Rolf haven't had a chance to put it on their website as of filming this video. It's an eau de toilette concentration. Let's check out the notes. In the top, green cardamom, green mandarin, grapefruit, granny smith apple. In the heart, black chilli, black pepper, clove, nutmeg, sage, geranium. In the base, roasted almonds, tonka bean absolute and woody notes. So you can see Victor and Rolf have got a whole green and black thing going on with this. It's all to tie in with this nighttime theme, the night vision goggles, under the cover of darkness, sexy, alluring, mysterious. There is greenness here, but it's more of a tangy, zesty greenness rather than your traditional green type fragrances that may be more kind of plant greenness like green shoots, uh, bamboo, green cut grass, that type of thing. So you don't get any of that type of greenness here. You get a bit of the green cardamom and then the green mandarin is kind of, I suppose, like a mandarin that isn't quite ripe yet, that's green on the outside and has that kind of tangy, zestier type scent, uh, more so than a smoother, fully ripe mandarin. And I do get a bit of a green, apple-y, Granny Smith type of chord, a little bit, maybe, but I feel like the whole green thing is just a little bit of a tenuous tie into this whole night vision theme. But if it smells good, does that really matter? No, it doesn't. And yes, the opening does smell really nice. It opens quite fresh with a bit of those sharp citruses, and then it mixes in with just a hint of that Granny Smith green apple accord. And then we've got the spicy heart, we've got the black chili black pepper providing a nice peppery spiciness and a little bit of fieriness. And then there's some smoother notes. There's the sage, the cloves, the nutmeg providing kind of a smoother, sweeter, spicier nuance. All mixes together pretty nicely. On my skin, after about an hour, all this spicy excitement settles down and I was left with an almond and tonka bean accord, which is smooth and sweet, but by this time it's just become pretty much a skin scent and it's not projecting very much. I was only really getting it if I was smelling close to my arm and it loses the punchiness of those top and heart notes. In my opinion, the woody notes in here aren't particularly resinous, so therefore aren't really providing a great deal of depth to the fragrance. In fact, I would describe it as quite a thin fragrance, especially comparing it to the original Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme. I know Extreme was an eau de parfum concentration and this is an EDT. Now I haven't smelled Spice Bomb Eau Fraiche, so I can't compare it to that one. Maybe judging by the notes of that, that would be a bit of a thinner fragrance that you could wear in warmer temperatures. But compared to Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme, this is thinner and as a result, I felt the performance wasn't as good on me as those fragrances. I've worn this now on several occasions and after about an hour, I stopped really smelling this one on myself. I'm not really picking up on much of a scent bubble. And I do like to get compliments and for other people to notice a fragrance, that's always nice. But first and foremost, I really like to enjoy the scent that's coming off me. And I'm not really getting any wafts of it after about an hour or so. There is another thing worth noting with this one, and that is it seems to be moving further away from that classic Spice Bomb DNA. In fact, I didn't really pick up much of it at all with this. There's another fragrance that this reminded me more of, and that's Invictus Aqua. I've got the 2016 version. It doesn't have the sea salty vibe, and it doesn't have the thicker violet leaf note that is so nice in Invictus Aqua, and it is sweeter than Invictus Aqua, but for me, it had more in common with that than it does with Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme. Could just be me, could just be the way it works off my skin, but that's what I got from it. 
I'd say it's probably the most versatile of all the Spice Mom scents that I've tried. You could definitely wear it all year round. It's not strictly a nighttime scent or a clubbing scent. I feel like the whole green and black theme is just kind of twisted and shoehorned in a little bit to fit in with this night vision, night goggles type of under the cover of darkness, mysterious theme. It's not green in the traditional sense and it isn't just a nighttime scent. Performance on me was okay. I got an hour of projection and then it was six to seven hours on skin where I was just getting faint little wafts, but it didn't really seem to be projecting that much. Don't get me wrong, it is a nice scent and I think in that first hour it would get some attention, maybe elicit a few compliments, but it just doesn't perform for me. I prefer Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme. Spice Bomb Extreme being my favorite of those two, but I would reach for those more often than this. The only time I would reach for this one over those is perhaps if it's warmer or if it's in the summer. I tested this one out when I went to the gym one day just to see how it would work when my skin warmed up a little bit and it did seem to improve performance a little bit but not massively. Having said that, it would work better overall in terms of the, the composition on warmer days than either of the other Spice Bombs, which I think more are um, autumn or winter scents. Let's talk about the price and where to buy it from. I picked this 50ml bottle up from Debenhams, which is a department store in the UK. It is available on their website as well. I think from just doing a search, it is the only website that seems to be selling it at the moment, so I think Debenhams do have a bit of an exclusive. I don't think that'll last for long. It will soon be available in more places, but as of the time of filming this video, it was just Debenhams. So this 50ml bottle cost me £55, and you can also get a 90ml bottle, which is £72. To sum up, this is my least favourite of all the Spice Bombs, although it does have good year-round wearability and versatility. I enjoy the tangy peppery opening and the almond and tonka dry down, but the performance just isn't there for me. Okay, there you go. There's your review of Spice Bomb Night Vision. I hope that helps you make up your mind about whether you might want to buy this or not. I would definitely say go in store, do what I did, spray it on skin, have a little walk around, see how it develops, see if you like it uh, before you make a purchase. But if you can't do that, then I hope to some degree what I've gone through in this video gives you a bit of a better idea about what's going on with the fragrance. If you've bought it already, if you own it, let me hear your thoughts. I'd love to know how you think it compares to all the other Spice Bombs. And everyone watching this video will find your comments useful as well when deciding whether to buy the fragrance or not. Thanks for watching everybody. And remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.